Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. Um, it's a very warm and sunny day here in, uh, in Sweden today. Uh, don't worry, I've been outside. It's, um, I've, actually took, I was, I've actually taken like three walks today. And pretty long walks as well, so I have, uh, I have some pain in my legs now from, from walking too much. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this video because you know, I've been using i3 for for quite some time now. I think it's I think it's like five years, five or six years. I think I've been using i3, and it just recently struck me that maybe I should try something else. And you know, I made a, a video the other day saying that I bought a new laptop, uh, a Dell XPS, and it's probably coming next week. So, you know, my idea is that maybe I should install DVM this time on my laptop. And I'm making this video just to see what you think, basically. Uh, what do you think? Should I try DVM? I know there aren't a lot of differences between DVM and uh, i3. But one thing that I've seen with DVM that I really like is that you can have these default layouts so that the window that is currently in focus is going to take up the most space. So it has like a prioritized layout system, which means that you don't, you never need to uh, adjust the size of the window manually. You know, I do this all the time. I think you've seen this in my videos as well, where I uh, move around windows and resizes them. And, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of fiddling with my windows. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I can avoid all that fiddling with 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 window sizes and stuff by uh, by at least trying DVM. I'm not saying I'm gonna switch to it, but I think it might be worth trying it. Um, and you know, if I if I like it, maybe I'll I'll stick with it. Um, so what do you think? Should I install DVM on my new laptop that I received and uh, make a video about it? Because I know I told you I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make an unboxing video of that laptop, and also a video where I install Linux from scratch on it. Like I'm gonna show you how I install and configure Linux. And first, I just thought I was going to install everything the way I always do it with i3 and all my i3 dot files and stuff. But maybe I should um, maybe I should install DVM instead. What do you think? Would that be an interesting video? Um, and also you'll get my first hand uh, impressions of uh, of DVM, I guess, or um, I guess I will react on on how, on what I think about DVM once I've tried it a bit. Um, as long as I can do all of the things that I can do in i3, I think I'm gonna be happy with, with using DVM actually. Um, I want to be able to have the same key, key bindings that I have in i3 as in DVM because I have configured my i3 a bit so that I can, uh, uh, well at least to me the, I've made the key bindings a bit easier to use in my config and I would be really happy if I can make that work in DVM as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool or I don't know, it might be cool to try DVM. Um, yeah, what do you think? Should I should I try DVM? Let me know in the comments, and uh, and um, I don't know. Even 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 if you don't think I should try it, I'm probably gonna try it either way because I've been wanting to try it for a while now. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. But it would be fun to hear your opinion as well, of course. Um, so yeah, if I if I do switch to DVM eventually, if I do, if I find myself enjoying DVM enough, then I'll probably also update my uh, my dot files on GitHub. And uh, I'm probably not gonna keep my old i3 dot files if I switch, because I just don't want to maintain two configuration, configurations at the same time. You know, I have enough projects on my GitHub uh, uh, as it is, I, um, 
Yeah, I, I just don't want to maintain two different configurations. Maybe some of the configuration files can be reused with uh, DBM, I don't know. I haven't really looked um, too much into how to configure DBM yet, but as I've heard, I think it's just, a, you just modify the source code basically to, to configure it. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people have watched my video about my, uh, my Vim configuration and my dot files uh, with i3. So, uh, and I also know that a couple of people have, or a lot of people have actually forked that configuration file from my GitHub. Um, so, it would be a bit sad to, to delete it, I guess, but I mean, if someone wants to keep that configuration file, they can just keep the fork on their GitHub page. Uh, I think that works. Or just clone down the, the configuration files and save them in their own repository or something. Uh, anyway, just a little update video. And I wanted to share you share with you my thoughts on on um, on me might switching to to DVM. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.